Good day, my friends. Today's topic, systems of equations with three variables. That's right, not one, not two, but three variables. And to help us out with these, we're going to visit a couple of our old friends, substitution and elimination. Let's go ahead and start with substitution. All right, substitution. In this humble mathematician's opinion, substitution is most easily used when each equation does not have all three variables. Oh, I wonder if there's anything behind that very unsuspicious looking bush. Oh my gosh, it's a perfect substitution example. Notice that this system has three different variables, x, y, and z, but each equation does not have all three of those, x, y, or z. We've got 2x minus y equals 5, 7y plus 1 equals negative 6, and x minus 3z equals negative 7. The first thing I'm going to recommend you do is find an equation where you could easily isolate one variable. Here, in the second equation, we've got 7y plus 1 equals negative 6. That only has one variable. We can solve that. Solving for that, we're going to get y equals negative 1. Let's hold on to this and see if we can use it. Going back to our original system, is there any equation we could plug this y equals negative 1 in to solve for a different variable? How about this first one, 2x minus y equals 5? Plugging that y equals negative 1 in for y, we're going to get 2x minus negative 1 equals 5, and solving will get x equals 2. Beautiful. 2 down, 1 to go. All right, back to the drawing board. We've got x equals 2, y equals negative 1. Is there any possible way to solve for z? Well, what if we took our third equation, x minus 3 is equals negative 7, and plugged in our x value? Genius! That'll give us 2 minus 3 is equals negative 7. Solving for that, we're going to get z equals 3. And there we have our answer. x equals 2, y equals negative 1, z equals 3. The solution to this system. Cool, onward and upward. Oh, I wonder if there's anything behind that unsuspicious looking bush. Oh, there's not. Okay, I'll just make up an example then. Here we've got another system with three variables, x, y, and z, but each equation does not have each variable. So substitution is going to be our best bet for this one as well. Now I don't see an equation that has only one variable. That's going to make things a little trickier, but we can handle it. To start, choose a variable to solve for first. This is going to be easiest if you pick one that easily replaces other variables. For this system, I'm going to go ahead and pick y. I've already got y equals equa on the first equation. I've got z equals negative 3y minus 3, so I can replace z. And looking at this third equation here, 2x minus y equals negative 4, I could rewrite that solving for x. That's going to be x equals negative 2 plus y over 2. All right, check this out. I've got my z written in terms of y. I've got my x written in terms of y. Now let's go ahead and plug those into this first equation. If I do that, I'm going to get y equals, and instead of x, plug in negative 2 plus y over 2, plus z, plugging in my z, negative 3y minus 3, plus 5. Now if I solve from there, that's going to give me a y value of 0. Woo! All right, after all that work, now it's the fun part. Let's plug that y value in to these other equations and finish her up. Plugging those in, we'll get z minus 3 times 0, 3 times y, 3 times 0 minus 3, or z equals negative 3. And plugging it into our last equation, we'll get 2x minus, instead of y, plug in 0, equals negative 4, and x equals negative 2. And there you have it, folks. Negative 2, 0, negative 3 for your x, y, and z. Stay tuned. We're going to get into some elimination real soon.